hush a by baby on the tree top when the wind blows the cradle will rock when the bough breaks the cradle will fall down will come baby bow cradle and all bye baby bunting daddy's gone a-hunting to get a little rabbit skin to wrap his baby bunting in pat a cake pat a cake baker's man so i do master as fast as i can pat it and prick it and mark it with tea put it in the oven for tommy and me ba ba black sheep have you any wool yes marry have i three bags full one for my master one for my dame and one for the little boy who lives in the lane pussy cat pussy cat where have you been i've been to london to look at the queen pussy cat pussy cat what did you there i frightened a little mouse under her chair ride a cock horse to banbury cross to see an old lady upon a white horse rings on her fingers and bells on her toes she shall have music wherever she goes bobby shafto's gone to see silver buckles on his knee he'll come back and marry me pretty bobby shafto bobby shafto's fat and fair combing down his yellow hair He's my love for ever, mare, pretty Bobby Shafto. Tom, he was a piper's son. He learned to play when he was young, and all the tune that he could play was over the hills and far away, over the hills and a great way off. The wind will blow my top knot off. Now Tom with his pipe made such a noise that he well pleased both the girls and boys, and they always stopped to hear him play over the hills and far away. I had a little pony, his name was Dapple Grey. I lent him to a lady to ride a mile away. She whipped him, she lashed him, she rode him through the mire. I would not lend my pony now for all the ladies hire. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Says Simple Simon to the pieman, let me taste your ware. Says the pieman to Simple Simon, show me first your penny. Says Simple Simon to the pieman, indeed I have not any. Simple Simon went a fishing for to catch a whale, but all the water he could find was in his mother's pail. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Up Jack got, and home did trot as fast as he could caper, went to bed to mend his head with vinegar and brown paper. Jill came in, and she did grin to see his paper plaster. Mother vexed did whip her neck for causing Jack's disaster. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where's the boy that looks after the sheep? He's under the haycock fast asleep. Goosey, goosey gander, where shall I wander? 
Upstairs, downstairs, and in my lady's chamber. There I met an old man who would not say his prayers. I took him by the left leg and threw him downstairs. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport while the dish ran away with the spoon. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was opened, the birds began to sing. Was not that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes, when up came a blackbird and nipped off her nose. Little Bo Peep, she's lost her sheep, and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone, and they'll come home and bring their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep fell fast asleep, and dreamed she heard them bleating. When she awoke, she found it a joke, for they still were all fleeting. Then up she took her little crook, determined for to find them. She found them indeed, but it made her heart bleed, for they'd left their tails behind them. It happened one day, as Bo Peep did stray, unto a meadow hard by. There she espied their tails side by side, all hung on a tree to dry. She heaved a sigh and wiped her eye, and over the hillocks she raised, and tried what she could as a shepherdess should, that each tail should be properly placed. I like little pussy, her coat is so warm, and if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. So I'll not pull her tail, nor drive her away, but pussy and I very gently will play. She shall sit by my side, and I'll give her some food, and she'll love me because I am gentle and good. I'll pat little pussy, and then she will purr, and thus show her thanks for my kindness to her. I'll not pinch her ears, nor tread on her paw, lest I should provoke her to use her sharp claw. I never will vex her, nor make her displeased, for pussy can't bear to be worried or teased. 